us today, we have Susan LaBelle, Take Shape for Life Coach. And Susan, you're here to talk to us a little bit about healthy snacks and whatnot. But I want to ask you, before we get to that, give us your guilty pleasure, the, the, your favorite Super Bowl snack. It doesn't have to be healthy. Guilty pleasure, guilty pleasure. Susan. Well, my vote goes with Ashley's, probably nachos. Nachos, all right. Mm -hmm. I have a healthy version for you today. Okay, what's in that? Well, um, you know, I, I'm going to show you my little secret weapon is these little wow, peppers. The have you weapon? ever seen these little bags of mini peppers? Yes, in I get those and I eat them just like that. Just I love like them. That. Well, that's great. The, and yeah. I like to eat them that way, too. You can cut them in half, and they look... Almost could fool you. Look like a Frito scoop. Yeah, maybe? I no, can just sure. my mind to think it is. I'm with you, Susan. I'm with you. Come on, with me. Susan, <laughs> I, I see here the average person eats 2,400 calories on Super Bowl Sunday. That's only behind Thanksgiving. That's a lot of food. Yes, it's the second mm. biggest day of food consumption. Wow, so, really? And that 2,400 calories is actually just during the game itself. Oh, not even breakfast. <laughs> not so even the whole Sunday. Wow. No, back up though. What, what's a typical healthy calorie count for the entire day, Susan? Um, you know, it really will depend on your your age your size your weight but that is typically a max that people would eat in the it's entire, in the entire day okay. Well yeah. right. yeah. okay that's pretty right. good so susan walk us through some of the healthy options because yeah. you have absolutely. some substitutions we can do. <laughs> absolutely um you know first of all there's some tips just to kind of keep you healthy on the day in general mm -hmm. maybe get some breakfast in um sure. so that you're keeping your blood sugar stable throughout the day some healthy snacks so that when you show up to your party you don't feel the need to Eat everything in sight. <laughs> Not that I like that need. Oh, it's fun. I know. And second would be to get your sweat on, just like the athletes that we're going to watch that afternoon. Your sweat on. What do you mean? Yeah, work out a little bit. Oh, uh, work out. Oh. Work out before the game. Right. Uh, give yourself, you know, burn a little extra calories so you can have a little extra calories. Can we get a close up of these? These are so yeah, cute. This is super fun. It's the best like way to, to do bring that. Something festive That's to cute. a party. Um, That's and cute. That is just. Do you guys like caprese? They're like little there? footballs. Can it. you see them? She's got the laces for the football yeah. over the yeah, tomatoes. Right. Yeah. Really cute. Absolutely. Yeah. Good okay. protein, good fiber. And then who likes chips and dip? <laughs> so, so is this the substitute for the chips here? Yeah. Then? You okay. know, and believe it or not, if that's what's on the plate, people will okay, eat it. Okay, can I do this? <laughs> Go for it. Well, now what is this? This is a buffalo chicken dip. So buffalo chicken dip. You guys dip. said buffalo wings. It's kind of my play on buffalo wings. Okay. And um, mm. I like to shred chicken in a crock pot. That's but good. for simplicity, I just used this canned chicken this morning. I put a little of this Frank's hot wing sauce mm -hmm. in there, so oh, you can yeah. make it as spicy as you like. A little laughing cow cheese, and if you want to make it creamier, you can add a little ranch. But um, what's really great is you get really good protein, and then with the veggies, that is always a crowd favorite. Now, Susan, one of the um, items on that list, not surprisingly, is is pizza and you have an alternative an idea for the crust that's much healthier <laughs> absolutely have you ever had cauliflower crust pizza I've no. never heard of it, my I've dear. I've made cauliflower mash before. <laughs> okay. Rod's, yeah. I brought that in around Thanksgiving. It is actually a great substitute. It fools my kids. It fools the crowds. And it's a great way to get, you know, nutrition into your meal. And mm. I know he's, you have a very interesting look on your face. You're not sure no, about I it. I should have brought some. Well, yeah. Um, but instead of the all the um, the crust, you make the cauliflower and you just cook it like you would a pizza crust. Top it with your maybe some turkey pepperoni, olives, veggies. You know, some mozzarella cheese. Um, okay. It's a great substitution. And Absolutely. Su Susan, where can people go to get more information <laughs> on your services? Um, you can contact me at um, teamlabelle, TSFL, at gmail.com. And um, I have more recipes for you and tips for the game. Great. Susan LaBelle, a Take Shape for Life coach. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Kathy, you're missing out on